हा गखर आरतरी उकला लिंक और आर हजार आर खुलाए क किनहुन जों के इलेक्शन कमीशन ऑफ इंडिया कलावान से शिलोंग ना कबंता बनखमी ये करु कंपन खरे ये के इलेक्शन एमएलए आर हजार आर खुलाए कने ग किनहुन कला खत लावेर बट किंतु ये की पाच बा नों शोंग शोंग के जिला में गलाया बन शिमबंता हा कने के इलेक्शन दा का बलेज बन थेप एक वोट लने बन जेत ये की करतोंग की बाकी मन हा बकरन में क्लब साइ खूब और हा का खलाई तरे उकला लिंक कर उ चीफ इलेक्शन कमिश्नर जोंकरी इंडिया और राजीव कुमार उलोंग बक जिला में गलाया कने के जिला का बशंग सुख शंग सन बारे का जिंग थेप वोट लने के इलेक्शन हा के जिला लले बे हा कर कम का बदे किरंग बा सरकार ना कने के तनात क्लाई कंडो रु ये की सेंग सन पर थे ब फेर ब फेर बंतवा जिंग मुद नकी हालोर की जिंग थमु बार की रु कंपन खरे के जोंकी मेघालय इज अ पीसफुल स्टेट and elections are always held in the environment of a festival of democracy so we welcome and we urge everybody through you to participate with full enthusiasm in the elections in these two days uh, friends we first met with all the political parties all the national parties regional parties state parties so that we can get their views their comments their suggestions their inputs their apprehensions in any there are we have met all the district magistrates ssps and all the state officials there are all the uh, central agencies which i will detail later and then the chief secretaries and dg of the state along with the officials so uh, to just give you an overview the population of the state as you all know <laughs> is uh, 29,66,889 with male and female population being almost equal. Uh, there are 12 districts where we have to conduct the elections. And in terms of the overview of the elections, the term of the Meghalaya Legislative Assembly is up to 15th March 2023. So we have to complete the entire process before that. The male, uh, if you look at the uh, general constituencies there five and 55 are reserved for sts and the male and female population and the voters ratio female outnumber the male here in the state there 10 lakhs 92326 female voters in the state we also have taken on ourselves to earmark the persons with disabilities into our electoral roll and there are 7478 PWD voters. We are also very happy to report to you that all over the country and so in uh, Meghalaya, we are marking all our voters who are 80 plus. And Meghalaya has in our electoral rolls 22,658 electors who are 80 plus. And we are very happy to also tell you, huh, 290 amongst them are 100 plus. So our respects to them. They have been. Uh, always uh, participating in the elections and it's because of them that we are here in this shape of the democracy we have written from the commission individually to all of them to facilitate them and to pay our respects to them and friends we have we are focusing in the electoral rolls on inclusion of everybody and the 18 to 19 years voters are also 81443 The gender ratio is very happily one zero double two in this state here, and EP ratio after this first after this SSR is increased from six thirty to six forty five in the final poll, which again is a sign of the participation and more and more inclusion. This was during the SSR it happened. Uh, another interesting thing we have started is that we are trying. that after the 17 years if somebody is completed we give them an option to give an advance application to us so we we'll keep it with ourselves and whenever they turn 18 we will make them uh, voters this is to uh, start inculcating the democratic values and ethos right from the beginning and you will be happy to know that 950 youth of 17 plus age have registered with us in advance so this is again a happy situation that people of the younger age are coming forward i since 81443 are 18 to 19 years and 
I would request that when we are making efforts to enroll them, they also convert this thing from roll to poll. They also should come and vote uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in the elections which are coming. To give you an overview of the polling stations and the preparations which we have made, the number of polling stations in this state is 3,482 with around 620 voters average and predominantly rural uh, settings, 3,157 being in rural areas. Friends will manage uh, 120 booths with women, all women staff, polling officers, presiding officers, even the, even the police and the police personnel would be women. So this is again a effort which uh, commission is making all India to make women empowerment a theme. And similarly, this time, as the youths we are registering, we have also started setting the booths which are managed only by youth. Means who have been into the government service just recently, we are picking up and there are 60 booths which will be managed by our young uh, uh, employees so as to give them the pleasure and the privilege of managing the boot and conducting the elections. And 50% of the polling stations, that's close to 17,041, would be webcast. We'll make arrangements that their webcasting is done from those polling stations.